Hello, Star Citizen fans. It's Goliath here. For those that uh, are really interested in testing and really want to capture their current performance with Star Citizen, um, I'm going to show you today how to do a detailed MSI afterburner log. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need MSI afterburner, Star Citizen, just a folder called Afterburner Logs. You can name it. Here's a few of the tests that I've done. You're also going to need Excel. So make sure you've got that. And so you're also going to need Notepad. And just use the old one. It's fine. You're not technically going to use it, but um, you're going to use a, the naming convention. So to start, we need to do our benchmark, right? That's the first thing. Now, with any benchmark, we really should be taking off VSync um, because we want to see the true performance, right? Um, so that's an important thing. So make sure to disable that in your NVIDIA control panel if it, you notice that it's on. Also, if it's in-game, disable VSync in-game. So let's go do our test. Now, for example, with our test tonight, I'm gonna just going to do a quick, um, you know, quick free flight. So we'll do access. Now you can have a timer, um, you can you know run your benchmarks and just kind of pick out how long they've been running for and separate it that way. Uh, there's numerous different ways you can run it. Usually the frame, you know, measuring the amount of frames could be one way. Um, but yeah, we'll just do a drone sim. And uh, we'll just count, you know, we'll say to 30 seconds, somewhere, somewhere around there. Now normally I actually run a 3440 by 4440 monitor. You just uh, activate pleasure. systems. Great. All right, so it looks like the game did just uh, pick it up at 3440. Um, so I'll just update that for you, gents, here real quick. Just so it's a little easier for you. And ladies, don't want to forget the ladies. Looks like it's just stretching it currently because I've got DSR going. Regardless, uh, we'll just use this, you know, resolution for the heck of it. So, yeah, let's just so let's do our benchmark. So, uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to tab out. So, click Escape. We're going to go back to Windows. We're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to Monitor look back and we're going to see the log history to file. And this is where it's going to do it. So before we do that, let's um, actually clear this. Not that it matters a whole ton anyways. So we'll, there's a few ways you can get rid of that anyways. So we're going to go to log history to file, browse. See, you might not have anything the first time. If you have hardware monitoring already here, just delete it because we want a fresh one. So I'm not going to click OK until I'm ready. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm going to click OK and let's go into the game. And we'll just do some flying. So, obviously, I've got to get the menu. You're going to see that huge, gigantic FPS game. When you're doing your tests, you're going to want to get rid of those outliers. We can do that later. We'll just do some flying. And yes, it's a little resolution, but. Settings, the monitor, and we're gonna cut it out. Boom, done. All right, so you know this folder right here. We're gonna just, we can go back in there. You can also just search by the afterburner. I'm just kind of lazy here, so I don't want to dig for it. You can enable. Make sure you don't, you know, click OK. 
So we're going to click Control Copy, we have to paste, and I'm going to click Cancel, Select File, Cancel, whatever, and there we go. There's There it is. So from what I know, you have to convert it to text and you can convert it to a CSV. You also might be able to convert it to a CSV directly from here. Um, but I am going to go ahead and copy this again. Go. We can try CSV up the start. Okay, so here you go. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do the text. You don't need Notepad. Um, I thought you did, but you don't. Um, so the first thing is we need to clean this data up. So we need to look. We need to get rid of all this other stuff. We don't need this. Not at all. So we're going to click. So we want to get down to our real results, right? These ones right here. So we're going to delete all those rows. All right. So let's get rid of this few other stuff here. Whatever, you can get rid of that. That's all right, let's get rid of that. I actually get rid of this column as well. Let's call this frames. All right, let's expand this. All right, so we don't need to know about temperatures, right? We don't need we don't need to know about that. So let's get rid of all those temperatures on the GPUs. This GPU usage um, is important. We don't need this other information. We want just the usage. Um, front side bus, we don't need that for graphics processors. All right, fan speed, we don't need any of that. Um, so that looks good. We'll go to the tachometer, let's get rid of that. So GPU clock, memory clock, these are things that are nice to know, but they're not actually totally important. They're kind of auxiliary. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut those. We're going to put those at the end of our test. So that was four of them. So we might as well grab frame rate and see. Let's grab these four and bring them to the front because they're kind of important. And we'll kind of cut them in. All right, let's make. We're gonna. So there's a, a method in my madness. It, it's kind of imp, the reason why I do this. It kind of gives us the useful information that we need right away. Um, and you know, if you do later tests, if you kind of get a system going, you can go back, grab later results, and kind of compare them because they're all in the same format. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab some memory usage. We're going to grab that and cut that next to it because that's important. Um, we're going to do a few more things. Put that over. Um, the big and most important one is frame rate, right? So we're going to put that at the start. And usually this is preference. I, I highly suggest doing it this way, though. Um, just so we're all kind of on the same page if you are going to do some testing. I know a few of us testers that, that we're, we pretty much are doing this exact same test, you know, just like this, this benchmark. Um, so we can kind of go back and quickly look and see, oh, this is what's going on. So we want to get rid of all these temperatures. We want to get rid of fan speed for the CPU cores. We want usage. And again, we want the CPU usage for all the cores, you know, accumulation of them all to be at the start too. All that, see, nice and pretty there. And it oh, looks like that was a copy, so we'll just get rid of this because we've already got it. There we go, pretty snazzy. All right, so another thing I like to do is do the average. Apparently, I can't spell. All right, so average. You know, some of this is obviously busy work. I mean, don't worry about it. One, two, um, and I just kind of drag this over. There we go. I kind of want to get the. I hate all those extra little numbers, so we're just gonna select all the data. We're gonna move it over to the second decimal. There we go. All right. Now what I like to do is I want to get rid of these outliers, right? If you are at zero, yep. put the filter on the wrong one. There we go. So if your GPU or frame rate is at zero, obviously something's wrong. So let's get rid of that. Those are outliers. So 
smallest. So I'm running dual GPU. Um, so I'm, I also want to see what's the lowest it's ever at. You know what? We might actually get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that one. That's really an outlier. That other one, we at least have some usage. All right. Make sure perfect. So here we go. So I usually highlight the whole columns. I use conditional formatting. So frame rate is something the higher the better, right? So we want to make sure that is marked green for high, red and low. GP usage. Normally we'd say, well, this is, you know, we would want G high GP usage to be red. In a game that's unoptimized, you actually want GP usage to be higher, right? Because this game is really CPU bottleneck. So we want to see higher GPU utilization. So you're actually going to want higher as green. Memory usage. This would actually be probably red. Because we don't want it using as much as possible. There we go. RAM usage. Again, we don't want it using as much RAM as possible. We don't, don't want that. Page file, same thing. Go. CPU usage. Now I do this one separate from the other ones. It's up to you. I, I really think you should do this separate though. So this we want higher to be in red. And then these other ones you can just grab them. Oops. Got a mind of its own. Grab the rest of these. And same deal. Okay, we actually want to go the other way. There we go. Oh, look at that. CPU 3. My friend, you are always pegged. Same with CPU 9. Um, yep. CPU bottleneck. Alright. Not too bad, though. Alright, these other ones, you can just leave them. It's not really that important. It's kind of just nice to reference for, you know, somebody says, hey, what, you know, what was your core clock? As you can see, the GPU is actually idle here. I mean, you could, we, I mean, technically we could exclude it, but whatever, you know. Yeah, we probably should exclude that one because it's down clocked. Has when we were switching it tabs, so let's get rid of that one too. You know, I don't like deleting outlet, you know results, but that's an outlier. So it's actually alt tabbing for the screens. But so here we go. Here we have a, a quick graphical. Um, display of what's going on with our computer and you can kind of see this so to read this the obvious is CPU 3 and CPU 9 on my 5930k are in heavy usage and you know let's say about let's look at our our smallest lowest frame rate CPU should actually wasn't that bad um, so it's kind of interesting how that hit that low um, let's actually look at it as high. So the CPU usage is very high. So let's do the largest ones here. So even though it's bottlenecked, I'm still doing pretty. I've got pretty good scaling here, pretty good GPU utilization. Right. The most, the, you know, the thing we have to be worried about is when it's really low. So that's the lowest that's ever been. I mean, so that's not bad um, with VSync off. So. Anyways, this is how you put it together. Um, I'm hoping you enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know. Um, again, you know, you can make benchmarks up all day, but you, I mean, usually what I'll do is I'll make another header on another page and I compare results and say, hey, what am I trying to achieve? Why are we looking at this benchmark? So always kind of include that too. It kind of helps people that are just, oh, there's a benchmark. Okay, why did this get posted in the channel? Well, that kind of helps people understand, oh, that's why you ran it. So. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a great night.